Aviation Mechanic Privileges and Limitations Question. Certificated mechanics with a power plant rating may perform. Answer. 100-hour inspections required by the Federal Aviation Regulations on a power plant, propeller, or any component thereof, and may release the same to service. Question. A repair, as performed on an airframe, shall mean. Answer. The restoration of the airframe to a condition for safe operation after damage or deterioration. Question. Under the Federal Aviation Regulations, an aviation maintenance technician is required to perform maintenance on an aircraft so that it. Answer. Is at least equal to its original or properly altered condition. Question. The replacement of fabric on fabric covered parts such as wings, fuselages, stabilizers, or control surfaces is considered to be a. Answer. Major repair even though no other alteration or repair is performed. Question. Which is classified as a major repair? Answer. The splicing of skin sheets. Question. The 100-hour inspection required by Federal Aviation Regulations for certain aircraft being operated for hire may be performed by. Answer. Appropriately rated mechanics and approved by them for return to service. Question. A person working under the supervision of a certificated mechanic with an airframe and power plant rating is not authorized to perform. Answer. A 100-hour inspection. Question. Certificated mechanics, under their general certificate privileges, may. Answer. Perform 100-hour inspection of instruments. Question. Question. An airworthiness directive requires that a propeller be altered. Certificated mechanics could. Answer. Perform and approve the work for return to service if it is a minor alteration. Question. The replacement of a damaged vertical stabilizer with a new identical stabilizer purchased from the aircraft manufacturer is considered a. Answer. Minor repair. Question. FAA certificated mechanics may. Answer. Approve for return to service a minor alteration they have performed appropriate to the ratings they hold. Question. A certificated mechanic with a power plant rating may perform the. Answer. 100-hour inspection required by the Federal Aviation Regulations on a power plant or any component thereof and approve and return the same to service. Question. What part of the Federal Aviation Regulations prescribes the requirements for issuing mechanic certificates and associated ratings and the general operating rules for the holders of these certificates and ratings? Answer. 14 CFR Part 65. Question. 14 CFR Part 65 contains information for the certification of. Answer. Airmen other than flight crew members. Question. 14 CFR Part 65 Subpart D contains regulations regarding the certification of. Answer. Mechanics. Question. A certificated mechanic shall not exercise the privileges of the certificate and rating unless, within the preceding 24 months, the administrator has found that the certificate holder is able to do the work or the certificate holder has. Answer. Served as a mechanic under the certificate and rating for at least six months. Question. Under Title 14 of the Code of Federal Regulations, what is the maximum penalty for falsification, alteration, or fraudulent reproduction of certificates, logbooks, reports, and records? Answer. Suspension or revocation of any certificate held. Question. How long does the holder of a certificate issued under 14 CFR Part 65 have to notify the FAA after any change in permanent mailing address? Answer. 30 days. Question. How long is a mechanic certificate with airframe and or power plant ratings valid? Ratings valid. Answer. Until surrendered, suspended, or revoked. Question. Why is a mechanic applicant issued a temporary certificate after successful completion of the required tests? Answer. To allow for review of his slash her application and supplementary documents. Question. What is the maximum duration of a temporary airman certificate? Answer. 120 days. Question. When may an otherwise qualified mechanic who does not read, write, speak, and understand the English language be eligible to apply for a mechanic certificate? Answer. When employed outside the United States by a U.S. air carrier. Question. Which of the following statements is true for a certificated and appropriately rated mechanic regarding repairs and alterations? Answer. He or she may perform an airframe major repair or major alteration, but cannot approve the work for return to service. Question. Which of the following is an instance when a special flight permit may not be issued? Answer. Flying passengers on a scheduled operation. Question. 1. Certificated mechanics with an airframe rating may perform a minor repair to an airspeed indicator, providing they have the necessary equipment available. 2. Certificated mechanics with a power plant rating may perform a major repair to a propeller providing they have the necessary equipment available. Regarding the above statements. Answer. Neither no. 1 nor number 2 is true. Question. Who is responsible for determining that materials used in aircraft maintenance and repair are of the proper type and conform to the appropriate standards? Answer. The installing person or agency. Question. 
Which of these publications contains standards for protrusion of bolts, studs, and screws through self-locking nuts? Answer. AC 43.131B. Question. The replacement of a damaged engine mount with a new identical engine mount purchased from the aircraft manufacturer is considered a. Answer. Minor repair. Question. Who has the authority to approve for return to service a propeller after a 100-hour inspection? 1. 1. A mechanic with a power plant rating. 2. Any certificated repairman. 3. A non-certificated mechanic working under the supervision of a certificated mechanic with airframe and power plant ratings. Answer. 1. Question. Instrument repairs may be performed. Answer. By an FAA-approved instrument repair station. Question. How is a quality system assured? Answer. By an internal reporting and auditing system. Question. According to Drive. James Reason. There are two types of human failure which can occur. They are. Answer. Active and latent. Question. Many areas of aviation have shifted their focus from eliminating error to. Answer. Preventing and managing error. Question. When we think of aviation safety in a contemporary way, human error is. Answer. The starting point. Question. All of the following are consequences of human error, except. Answer. Metal stressor. Question. The positive aspects of human factor issues are referred to as the. Answer. Magnificent 7. Question. The shell model is another human factors tool. The goal is to determine not only what the problem is, but also. Answer. Where and why it exists. Question. The three types of human error are. Answer. Omission, commission, and extraneous. Question. John and Nancy have been tasked with completing a hydraulic pump inspection. John is 5 feet 9 inches tall. Nancy is 5 feet 6 inches tall. What could result if Nancy is not tall enough to accomplish the task? Answer. Human error. 